I'm going to be shooting Fox bullets out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. These are the 123 grains. A guy from, I believe, I'm probably going to pronounce the country wrong, Slovenia, sent me these uh, to, to do a ballistics gel test, and I just got back from vacation, had to cast some new blocks, so I figured that'd be a great time to test these bullets. I also used a new blooming technique and my blocks are uh, definitely a little bit clearer starting out. But I want to talk about these bullets a little bit too. You know, a hunting bullet, European hunting bullet. It's got that weird round nose and not much of a boat tail. And I haven't talked to Fox to know what their design and some of that is, but it would definitely not aid much in ballistic coefficiency. And all I can figure with what I know about Europeans as opposed to Americans is they're more of a sport hunter and that is far more of a sport hunting bullet where us Americans have given up on the sport of hunting and have really gotten to this long range sport shooting of game animals. So I'm thinking that probably plays more of a role in the design of that bullet than anything is it's not meant to design to carry a lot of energy at range because you should be hunting in a sporting fashion. Um, again, if you long range hunt, I know I shoot further than what you probably should. I place ethical shots, no problem. Drop game animals. Um, I get them packed out without any spoilage of meat. If you're doing that, that's fine, but uh, it is definitely... Uh, Definitely not sport, the sport of the hunting. It's when you're stretching out there several hundred yards. But let's give these bullets a test. I'm gonna start with a low velocity. Might have to shoot a few to get in a range that these bullets actually perform. First one out the gate might perform just fine. And we'll flop the blocks and shoot a high velocity load. And as you can see, that's what a bullet does when it tumbles. Hit the block and bounce. I am going to pull that out after I shoot my next low velocity load. I'm going to jump up a ways as that one was only going 1374 and these are only rated down to like 16 or 1700 feet per second. Let's jump in. And we didn't catch that one because it went through all three. And I'm still thinking, based off the looks of that wound channel, that it uh, really did not open up good at that low velocity. And that was 1667. So we're going to bring that... Uh, Velocity up a little bit more.
exit it out down here, but you can see at least a three-way tear there. Seems to be really delayed expansion, which, you know, if you're shooting something like an antelope, that thing's going to be exiting before it really opens up there. And that one was traveling at 1952. I do not have any more of these loaded up. Uh, to go hotter, I gotta jump straight to my full load. But, let me flip this so you can see that moon channel. Like, I think it more tumbled than anything still. Didn't really seem to open up at that velocity. So, let me go ahead. Looking at how these bullets perform. Just gonna run these blocks the same direction. Cause I got too much going on in there for my high velocity load. Low velocity loads just really aren't doing the trick. High velocity load on there, I think. So you got it opening up right away, giving you a good permanent room cavity, carrying, and it definitely penetrated all the way through everything. I'll look a little bit around here for those bullets to see if I can find any of them. Overall, I'm personally not impressed. They'll definitely do the job at higher velocities and you're definitely going to get an exit load. but I'd like to see uh, a little bit more aggressive explosion than that I'm going to do my second video when I get home doing measurements on stuff I'm going to go ahead and shoot another high velocity load
them. Looks like it. Loaded pretty quick, but then came down out and in my light went through my table. I don't know. There's that front low velocity one. I didn't pull out of there, but you can see it. Did decent. All my uh, high velocity rounds were loaded, I guess. So that first one would have been a really, really similar velocity at 29, 22. But overall, 